and welcome to Time with Lydia, the pharmacist. Today we want to talk about a drug. We want to talk about amoxicillin. We want to answer the question, what is amoxicillin used for? Amoxicillin is a popular and a commonly used antibiotic. And it is a broad spectrum antibiotic, meaning it can get rid of a wide range of bacteria. Amoxicillin belongs to a group of drugs called penicillins. You can get amoxicillin in the form of a capsule, in the form of an oral suspension. You can get it also as a powder for solution and also as a powder for solution for injection. It is used for a wide range of infections, including bronchitis, pneumonia, throat infections, ear infections, sinusitis, dental abscesses, skin infections, and urinary tract infections. Children are normally prescribed the suspension, which is the liquid form, and the dosage in children is normally based on their age. In adults, the dosage and the duration of treatment is based on the kind of infection and the severity of the infection. Now, when amoxicillin is prescribed, it's meant to be taken every eight hours. So within 24 hours, you're meant to take three doses. Practically, this can be very difficult because it would mean that you would have to wake up during the night to take some medication based on what time you started taking it. So the best thing to do when you get prescribed amoxicillin is to take one dose in the morning with your breakfast, the second dose after your lunch, and then you can take the final dose of the day just before you go to bed. This works perfectly and it means that you're not missing any dose at all. Depending on the kind of infection that you are getting treated for, amoxicillin can sometimes be prescribed for a total of five days, it can be prescribed for seven days, and sometimes even longer. It is very essential that any time you are prescribed an antibiotic, you finish the total course of treatment. That is whatever you have been prescribed to take. Make sure you finish taking the total quantity within the time that you have been prescribed the antibiotic for. If it is for five days, make sure you finish it within the five days. If it is for seven days, make sure you finish it within the seven days. It is essential to do this because if you don't complete taking the antibiotic, there are two things that are likely to occur. The first one is that the bacteria that you are trying to get rid of might not completely be gotten rid of and there is the likelihood that the infection will come back. And secondly, there is a higher chance that you would develop resistance to the antibiotic. And that would mean that the next time the same antibiotic is prescribed for you for another kind of infection, it would not work and you will tend to suffer that infection severely. So let's all take note of this. Anytime we are prescribed an antibiotic for an infection, let's be serious and take it as prescribed and make sure we finish the full course of treatment. Now, some common side effects of amoxicillin include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, skin reactions, and hypersensitivity. One most common side effect of penicillins, which includes amoxicillin, is hypersensitivity. Hypersensitivity causes rashes and anaphylaxis, which can be fatal. If you have a history of anaphylaxis or a skin reaction from taking penicillin, it is advisable that you don't take amoxicillin because this kind of reaction can be fatal. And finally, I'll take home for today. Before you take amoxicillin, make sure it has been prescribed by a doctor for a specific infection. I hope this video is beneficial. Please don't go away without giving it a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, 
please hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative content remember subscription is free leave your comments and your questions in the comment section thank you once again for your time today and i hope to see you soon in my next one bye for now